Hi, this is a demo of NetHopper's turnkey enterprise private AI solution. The result of this demo will be a console for all of your workers that's a chat GPT like experience. It runs in IT's walled garden and it's augmented with the corporate data uh, just for your users using the OLMs you choose. In setting this up, first you need some infrastructure to run AI. We have several blueprint, blueprints you can choose from, Amazon, Microsoft, Google. I'm going to configure an Amazon instance. And here you can see the chart inside of our product chaos you would use to configure this. The name of the cluster, what region you'd like to run it in, what's your regular instance you'd like to use, a GPU model. This is a model with an NVIDIA GPU in it. And once that infrastructure is up and running, you can see it in the chaos platform and you can monitor it. Now that it's up and running, we're going to deploy another add-on in this environment for private AI. We have many add-ons you can choose from. In this add-on, we're going to uh, set it up and give it some configuration. We're going to run it in that AWS cluster we just created. And some of the questions you'll be asked are, do you want to use single sign-on? Sure, your employees can log in securely. I'm going to do that. I'm going to set myself as the admin user. I'm also going to use a GPU. You don't have to, but I'm going to. And I'm going to deploy both the Google and the Facebook models to this environment. You can deploy uh, mo other models later, but these are my two default models. And you can see this private AI add-on is rolling out to the AWS infrastructure. And it's just that simple. Many components roll out workloads running in that AWS environment. Now, if I come back to the add-on, I can see a link to go access the private AI environment. I'm gonna open that link and I'm gonna go through my single sign-on experience. So here I'm using my corporate credentials to log in to uh, NetHopper's private AI. Username and password uh, even supports two-factor authentication. And now we're at the dashboard and I am an admin user. You can see in the lower hand, left-hand side, you can see my Google and Facebook models are here. And if I go into the admin panel, you can see it's loaded with all of my users and my groups from my single sign-on. Likewise, you can, it has some default knowledge, some knowledge bases. I'm gonna add a new one here. Uh, this is going to be for my supply chain data. As an admin, I'm adding this knowledge for my workers. And once I create that knowledge base, I can make it public or private, and I'm going to add knowledge to it. This knowledge can be located in a lot of different places, uh, Google Drives, OneDrives. I'm simply loading it here from my corporate OneDrive. And you can see that now this knowledge will uh, upload. Now users can, all users can single sign on to this product and come in and start interacting with data. Uh, of course, it supports all of the public data that you expect of AI. So I'll ask it a public question, why is the sky blue? And you can see it comes back with the standard AI answer because of Rayleigh scattering. But now I'm going to interact with private data and I'm going to interact with the supply chain data. I'm going to say list our software suppliers. And you can see in there we have three software suppliers um, and which is the most expensive. Now I'm interrogating my data and interacting with it. According to the document, AWS is the most expensive at $1,000 a month. Let's say as a supply chain worker, I have a new quote for new services from AWS and I ask it, will this quote increase our AWS bill? Again, AI does its thing and goes in and says, yes, indeed, this will potentially increase your AWS bill to $2,000 a month. So here I'm a worker, I'm interacting with private data. I'm even interacting with my own personal data that I'm bringing to the AI as a supply chain worker.